Hi, I'm Linda White, Product Line Manager for Belden Broadcast and AV Products. I'm here today to show you our new 2183P cable. It's a 4K UHD media cable that is uh, really unique. It's small and flexible. It has one shield that's easy to terminate. It's got bonded pairs, 23 gauge. It's much smaller than the alternative cable that many people use. That is a Cat 7A type with individually shielded pairs and overall shield. So we have Bob Ferguson here today to show us how to do that. Perfect. Today we're going to be terminating the 2183 product, our HD Base T cable, with a new RevConnect connector. The nice thing about the RevConnect is that the same termination procedure is used for both a jack and a plug. Uh, so today we'll start with the core. On a shielded type cable, you want about 8 inches of drain wire exposed. This is a new helical twist, so we need to take about 4 inches of the jacket off. To start with, you go about 2 inches down the cable. Once around with your cutter, set your cutter to the side, you flex your cable. Now with the helical twist, you can actually unscrew the cable from that almost like you would a cap onto the cable. You then take your rip port onto the jacket. Now because this is a plenum cable, you want to start your rip with a rip port with a small nip of the scissors to give it the rip port a channel to pull down. I want to again pull that down another two inches. I'm going to wrap that around the cable. This gives the point of termination raw virgin material that hasn't been exposed to the strip tool. I want to remove the jacket, so I want to take, again, a small snip onto a plenum type jacket with a ripcord wrapped around it. I undo that twist and discard that. And then unwrap the remaining portion of the ripcord and snip that off as well. I then take the drain wire. You can see as I unwrap the drain wire, it's just wrapped around the cable or helically twisted around the cable for performance. I've got more than the eight inches needed. So I want to do a quarter inch of the foil exposed. This foil is exposed outside, so I want to wrap the drain wire around that to make sure I've got a good point of connectivity. Again, out a quarter of an inch, and then back that quarter of an inch. If we take the remaining length of the drain wire and we fold it back under itself and tie a knot into it, it helps the drain wire from unwrapping. I pull that tight onto the cable. I can then snip off the remaining portion of the drain wire. Now I want to remove the foil. Again, same thing like we removed the jacket. I open up the foil, a small snip to start it at a quarter of an inch, and the jacket foil peels off the cable as well. Now the rib connect is 568A and 568B. To do 568B wiring, we want to take the blue and the green pairs, fold those down, leave the brown and the orange pair up. We take the wire manager, and you can notice the back of the uh, wire manager is the wire color code. I line the brown and the orange up into the appropriate holes and slide it down onto the cable. Now before I get to the end, I want to check and see that the green pair and the blue pair are lined up correctly. If they're not, like in this case, I get down a clockwise turn to make them into the right grooves. Now it's important on the shielded cable that that last quarter inch is exposed out of the wire manager onto the product. So the two fold up and then down into their grooves, two in one direction and two into the other direction. I then, because this is a bonded pair cable, don't need to separate the pairs, but I just need to undo the twist. The portion that I want to remember is that white goes on the outside. Easy way to remember that is think of snow out, a white out, and the snow goes on the outside. Again, I need to undo the twist for at least that first half inch, and then it'll snap into the grooves, making sure that the white goes onto the outside of the cable. This should also lay flat onto the top of the wire management bar into the groove of the cable. Last but not least is the brown pair. Now this, before I put the cap on, is my one last chance to visually inspect it. White is on the outside, white is on the outside, white on the outside, white on the outside. I take the cap, the cap will only go on in one direction, and it will snap on. You will be able to feel it snap on, occasionally you'll be able to hear it snap on. You want to make sure that the cap is fully seated onto the thing and fully down onto the cable. You then take the Red Connect tool, the Red Connect tool, if you'll notice, will not engage until the jack is inserted into it. If you open the lever and only insert it halfway, this tool will still not engage. It needs to be fully inserted with the lever in front of it. I can then engage the tool, which drives the pins into the core and snips the pairs. Perfect. After I pull it out, I notice the sharp tooth on the top. I want to take the jack or the plug, line that up to the appropriate one, slide it in, it snaps, that quarter inch should be remaining, the two metallic doors will come and close onto that, and you've completed your termination process.
Visit our website at Belden.com for more information on our new RevConnect and 4K UHD media cables. Thank you.